So a while back, I gave you a very uh, introductory look at vert painting. I showed you how to do it inside of Unity. And as you're aware, we can vert paint in Blender, which is procedural, and we can do it artistically in Unity. This video, though, is going to be about the, the background on where that vert painting information is stored and how that information flows between different objects and files within your workflow. Um, because if you don't understand that and you need to move some, let's say, meshes around or recreate some meshes or alter some meshes, you could be losing some information and then all of a sudden you get yourself in a little bit of trouble. So let's talk about this. So we know that we start with our Inkscape SVG, which is a just two-dimensional shapes. We draw those in Inkscape. And at that point in the process, there's no vert painting going on. Remember, those are just solid shapes, and we assign them like a as a rough, and then they get like that green color or T box, light green, green, you know, T box, rough, deep rough, all that stuff, bunkers. There's no vert painting in, involved at this point. Then we export that, and we actually run that SVG through the Clender, through the Cloud Blender, and we have this thing come back called a post mesh file. Now, part of what happens inside of the Blender cloud, if you might recall, is that Blender actually vert paints for you and does some default vert painting. And in, let's look inside of Blender here really quick. I'm sorry, that's not Blender, is it? If we look inside of Blender, so here's a, a Blender file, and we look at here, all these shapes come in, not this one, I was messing around, but all the other ones come in vert painted. Because we're up here, I'm looking at, not looking at material here, I'm looking at the attribute. And you can see that these are all vert painted, most of them red. Now things like water and bunkers get like these blue colors. But my point here is that at this point in the process, we've got vert painting information inside of Blender, and it's associated with those meshes. Each mesh individually has its own vert painting information assigned to it. Now, along with this, the, what comes with the default Blender through the Cloud Blender process, um, you can also customize that vert painting through the various OPCD tools, and I showed you how to do a little bit of that as well. But what you have to understand, though, is then we export those into our FBX folder inside of Windows, and that that vert painting, that Blender vert painting information is included with that, okay? It rides along with that mesh, and it is still present and available to us, but it's just the Blender vert painting still. And then what did we do? Well, we imported those FBX, remember we drug them out of our Windows uh, folder into our Unity project, Unity process those, and now they're sitting in our project folder. Remember our props warehouse, and they're sitting there, and they have the Blender vert painting information, again, still embedded into that mesh. It's there, it's present. And then we took those FBXs and we pulled them into our scene. And when we did that, we could see that vert painting that was, again, assigned in Blender. So now we have those FBXs as game objects inside of our scene, and we have the, vert, the, the Blender vert painting uh, information in there as well. So you can see the flow that this vert painting from Blender goes all the way through and eventually makes it into our Unity scene. And then what did we do? Well, we, in Unity, we broke out the vert painter and we started painting. And what essentially happened there as we were painting, it's not completely overwriting that Blender information, it's supplementing it, okay? So now you paint like a little bit of blue on there, you paint some black, you paint, you know, change the red, and now that vertex stream is stored inside the mesh, okay? In the uh, vertex stream, inside that object that's in our scene. Now notice when I updated this yellow spot, which recommends our uh, represents our Unity vert painting, we didn't vert paint and we don't have that same information in the FBXs in our project. So we have a synchronization issue here where we've got vert painting in our scene objects, but not in the original FBXs that we imported. Okay, now you might say, well, is that really a big deal? Yeah, yes, it's kind of a big deal. Because one, if we were to take these FBXs, first of all, and we were to like take one of them and report it in, um, it's actually going to overwrite this Unity vert painting. It would be gone. Okay, so anything that you did in Unity would be gone. 
Um, another thing that's really important is that there, later on in this video series, you're going to be we're going to be covering 3D grass. And there's some things that you can do with 3D grass as far as um, painting it different colors, and you can do uh, thin it out in certain areas. But that is done through vert painting as well. However, 3D grass, we'll be looking at the vert painting information that is stored in our prop store with the mesh, okay, in our FBX folder in our project, not at the information that's in our scene object. So you can see if we've done Unity vert painting here, that 3DG is essentially looking back at just the Blender vert painting information, and it will not see the Unity vert painting that you have done. So what can we do about this? Well, there's a function called bake vertex painting to mesh, and it'll essentially take this combination of Unity vert painting and the Blender vert painting that is in our game object in our scene and our mesh, and it's going to rewrite them back, okay, into those FBXs in our prop store. So it essentially just synchronizes those. Now, if you have something like 3DG that is referencing, okay, that vert painting, these two are now in sync, and 3DG is going to see the correct vert painting. Okay, so this is just a quick intro into this vertex planning flow. And then the next video, I'm going to actually show you what this looks like in Unity in practice.